Children and teens with different abilities and special needs can often feel like there's no one out there like them with similar struggles. As Mel Meyer reports for this week's Community Spotlight, an extra special camp in Park Rapids is helping them feel less isolated and more empowered. The Camp of Champs started in 2006 as a place for children who have been adopted or are in foster care. Jihad Gao and his siblings were the very first campers. Started out at six and then it was like 20, then it was 40, then it was 50, and I think this year we had 94. Over time, the camp has expanded its reach to help the lives of kids 7 through 17 with a variety of needs. This includes children with ADHD, autism, or other learning challenges. Our camp has, has really focused on helping kids on more of the social skills or the character-based uh, types of activities. This includes a camper favorite, the character challenge course. High, low, and everything in between, it provides provides the kids a chance to step up to the challenge. There's a lot of fear at first, even for the staff, but the more you do things, uh, the less fear you have. Play team, can I trust you? Yes, yes you can. can! It's an important lesson to learn for these guys who might have insecurities about major life events that lie ahead. The goal is to make safe for truck. Marcus King says over the last four years, camp has taught him how to be a better leader and to have better interactions with his peers. I raise my voice and respect my other camp fellows because they love respect. I'm one of them, they wanna to listen to me. These skills are incredibly important as being a kid and finding your place amongst others can be difficult, especially with some different needs. But as Melissa Doctor says, she tries to tell her campers that there are a bunch of things that make her kind of quirky and special, and that's absolutely okay. And I just try to show them that it doesn't matter who you are, just be yourself. With this week's Community Spotlight in Park Rapids, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.